In this video, I want to show you how you can locate an endpoint from the HP switches and determine which switch and port that endpoint is connected to. This is something that you will likely need to do, so let me discuss and show you how you would do this. Now first, we need to know the IP of the host, the endpoint that we want to locate on our network. So let's say that we want to locate the user one computer. Now from the core switch, let's confirm if we can ping the IP of that host. So let's say that we know that the IP is 172.17.101.100. And doing that, we know that it is pingable. Now keep in mind that our computer could be filtering ICMP messages. So if we are unable to ping it, that doesn't mean that it is down. Now for the next step, we need to get the MAC address for that computer. And the best way to get that information is looking at the ARP table, which will show a mapping of all IP addresses mapped to the host's unique MAC address. So let's view the ARP table and reference the IP of our user computer that we want to locate. So I'll go ahead and say show ARP. And here you will see that this is the IP of our user computer that we want to locate, and this is the MAC address. Now, if we go to our user computer, let's actually just highlight this quickly, and let's do an if config. And if we go up to where the IP for that, which is right there, you will see that for the hardware address, it basically ends in F6, F9, matching what we see here in the ARP table. So this is again, the endpoint we want to locate on which port is this connected to on our network. Keep in mind that we ran this command on our core switch, which is a layer three enabled device, which has an IP address assigned to the user VLAN in our environment. Running this command on a switch that does not have a routable VLAN that the endpoint is a part of will not provide us the same information. Furthermore, looking at the art table, you can see that our HP core switch indicates that this device is located out of port number one being our downlink down to the access switch. But let's explore this further and use other commands like looking at the MAC address of that computer. So for that, I can go ahead and copy that and I can use the command show MAC address followed by the MAC address itself. In doing that, it says, hey, this is part of VLAN 101 and I see that it is somewhere connected out of port number one, which again, is our downlink to the access switch. Therefore, let's go to that switch and use the same command. So let's go there and I can go ahead and say show MAC address, put that MAC address in, do enter. And here it says that, hey, I see that this is part of VLAN 101 and that it is out of part two it is the individual port to user computer number one. So great, we have located that computer somewhere on our network.